Hi guys, this is Hai Kumar Kurtiwada. In this video, we will learn how to navigate from one page to another page in Angular. And this is a continuation of my previous video. Please watch how to configure and use Angular routing in Angular. Let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. Here, I have created a routing configuration. You can go to App Routing File and here I have created a login and register and also there is a star star which is nothing but your not found path and the default value is pointing to your register. We are trying to navigate and test this particular path in our browser by using URL. But now what we'll do is we'll try to create some set of links and we will use it. So for creating that links, let me go to app.component.html and here what I'll do is on this EBO router outlet, let me create a set of links. So let me use a div and an anchor tag and this anchor tag contains a login and anchor tag with register. So these are my URLs which we need to showcase on my UI and previously in our normal HTML we will use href to navigate but here we will use something called as router link and hitting on this router link we can give two things we'll talk about this router link active a bit later for now I can remove this I can just remove or cut this and put it below let's comment this now router link what is our router link we need to navigate the user to login page when the user clicks on this login and in the same way let me copy this and put it over here for register whenever the user clicks on this particular link he has to navigate to this particular register page so let me go to the browser and if you see here we got login and register there is no space between them let me use and nbsp or you can just use padding left or padding right let me go here and you can see by default it is register and when I click on login it is navigating to login and when I click on register it is navigating to register this is a direct link where you can navigate from one page to another page but here the problem is what exactly the page we are we are not able to find until unless we are seeing the content but what I want to do is wherever the page exists that particular link should be highlighted and the remaining link should be in normal state. For example, I'm in the register page and I want to highlight this register link. So how can we do that? By using this router active link. So we have something called as an attribute where it is pointing to your classes. Whenever this register is active, then this router link active will work and for this we need to give a particular class so for that sake let me go to app.component.css and create a active class whenever my router link is active just I want to add a color and that color should be something like red and let me copy this active and paste here in the same way when my login is active I need to show this active class so let me go here if you see here I'm in the register page and now register is active if I click on login the login is active and it is showing in the red color for example I gave something like 1 2 3 which is not found 1 2 3 4 5 enter so now you are not able to see any active link why because the page not found does not have any link over here and it is not present on that particular nav bar and now let me go to login again and now you can see that in the red color now what we are doing is we are just navigating via links without any logical performing so if you want to perform some logic and based on your logic it may be a decision making like whether to navigate to the next page or not for example we have something called as login when the user clicks on the login if the logged in user exists in our database then that fellow is a valid person and he can go to dashboard for that sake let me go to the next terminal and create one path called as ng generate component and let me create a component called as dashboard and hit enter now we have created a dashboard and it has been updated in my app.module.ts now what i want to do is instead of using a anchor tag i just want to go with a button let me create a button and inside this button let me write login and then I need to write a click event and on this click event I want to perform some logic so let me use login and now what I want to do is just copy this login go to my TS file 
let me go here and create this login so now what I want to do is whenever the user clicks on login I want to check some condition for example let me use user ID is equal to 1 and when I click on the login I got a response where my user ID is 2 let sample user ID equal to 2 and what I want to do is when the user ID is equivalent to my sample user ID then I want to navigate this user to a dashboard else don't do anything so now what I want to do is just go here write a constructor and to navigate via your TypeScript previously we have used the router link to navigate from our HTML to another page but now here we are doing some logical performance and after that performing we are trying to navigate the user for another page for that sake we have a service which is provided by angular that is nothing but your router and that router will be the service for you and you can create the service like this why to create the service like this what is the advantage of using this we will talk whenever we are discussing about the services for now just remember this private variable is a service which is referring to your router class and now this router class has one method called as navigate so now whenever the user is satisfying the user ID then I want to navigate the user to login page this navigate can be used with an array of fragments so my fragment is login if you have one more parameter or one more slash then you have to pass that value like this and now I have only one value that is nothing but your dashboard so let me use dashboard and let me configure this dashboard in our app routing let me go to the app routing and now let me go here path what is this it's a dashboard and the component is again a dashboard component and save this and save this let me go here here whenever the user ID satisfies this sample user ID then it will navigate here else I just want to uh, alert like user does not exist and save this now let me go to the browser and here you got a login button let me click on login button you can see user does not exist and he will not, not navigate to anywhere but when the user satisfies this that means the sample ID whatever I am using here whenever it is equal to the user ID then he will be navigating to the dashboard let me go here and click on this he navigated to the dashboard works so this is how you can use conditional navigation from one page to another page can be done the router service also provides one more thing that is nothing but this dot router dot navigate by URL so even you can navigate by URL this will take only the URL in first string that means slash dashboard and let me save this go here now click on this or let me go to login first go to my login page and now let me click on login now the user clicked on login and it satisfied the condition went to dashboard even in both the cases it works the same but I preferably use as navigate why because instead of concatenating or merging of your string we can just directly use that by using comma separated for example if I want to go with my routing where my routing is dashboard slash chat or chats then you have to pass this chat in this TS as a second parameter because it is a second fragment and in the same way we can pass that here by using slash charts so if it is static then it is fine but if this value which you are passing if it is getting in a dynamic value then it is very hard to identify it and merging that particular string so always try to use this dot router dot navigate in array format so that it is very easy to pass the data so let me go with this particular approach and in my upcoming videos also I'll be using the same approach let me comment this and uncomment this let me save this and if you click on this it is navigating to dashboard slash chats it is working as expected and now let me revert this back to summarize this we have two approaches to navigate from one page to another page one is by using a router service whenever you want to navigate the user based on some logic then you have to use this router service and 
whenever you want to navigate directly from one page to another page without any validation or without any logic then you can use a router link property binding and then you can just pass that URL into your router link it will not check anything just it will navigate the user from one page to another page so this is how you can use your router links in our upcoming video we will see how to navigate the user from one page to another page with some set of parameters like query params or mandatory params and how to pass them how to configure them we'll see and we'll get more understanding on this routing in my upcoming video hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you